Hawkins, who's in Doha. Paul, they've done it. What's the atmosphere like? The atmosphere is electric, frankly. There's just it's constant rounds and rounds of cheers and, and messy, 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 because this isn't Qatar's World Cup. This is Messi's World Cup. He's finally done it. He's won the only trophy that saluted him after an absolutely incredible final. And for 80 minutes of it, Argentina were not in it. They were 2-0 down at halftime, a Messi penalty and a Di Maria strike in the first half. And then Kylian Mbappe, Messi's pick. PSG teammate who plays with him in France stepped up to the plate. He scored two to take it to 2-2. And then in extra time, Messi scored the winner. And you thought, that's it. Argentina are going to win the World Cup. He's got the winner. It's going to be 3-2. Again, Kylian Mbappe steps up to take a second penalty. A hat-trick, a World Cup hat-trick for Kylian Mbappe. But on penalties, Argent uh, France, I should say, missed two pens. And Argentina have won the World Cup for the third time in their history in 1978, 1986, and now 2022. Lionel Messi cementing his status as one of the great footballers, if not the greatest footballer of all time. His final World Cup game at the age of 35. It's not Qatar's World Cup, it's Lionel Messi's World Cup. Absolutely. What a brilliant match. Paul in Doha, thank you.